Hi there, my name's Justin. Welcome to today's Brickwright video, building this garden wall. There's advice on which bricks to use for external use on your brick wall. We're gonna be demonstrating how to use the Blake's profiles along with the BT Engineering profiles. We've also got some BT Engineering clamps to show you, Fitzbricks clamps, and we haven't put this on any time-lapse. It's all real-time bricklaying. We also share some site banter with you. I've noticed that 85% of people are not subscribed to the channel, which uh, I'd really like to get the subscribers up a little bit. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, if you could click the subscribe button for us and give us a like, it would really, really help us. We'd really, really appreci appreciate your support. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Hope you enjoy it. All this wall is completely shot. You can see the frost damage on the brickwork there. So all that's coming down. Um, the boys have got ahead of me. There was a fence six foot high. So the, the wall's gonna be six foot high going across here, returned into the house here. And then this wall is gonna be separate and it's gonna stay at that level. Um, got the bricks for it. So these are the bricks the client's chosen. Really important when you do this, when you're choosing your bricks for outside work, right? Get them an F2 rated. That means they can be used um, in conditions where you're gonna have severe water and a lot of frost. And also these bricks are S2 rated, which means there's not a lot of salt in the actual manufacturing process. You, you reduce the risk of efflorescence coming out of the brick. So S2 and F2, if you're doing yours outside, try and get those. And you, you're not gonna get the problems of, of this then in later years where the bricks have, uh, yeah, they've had a frost attack and uh, they've seen better days. I've already set these up and I will show you how I'm going to set that profile up the other side, so bear with. But for these ones, so you've got a BT Engineering clamp down there. I think that's called um, clamp. <laughs> I don't know, I think that's called like an internal clamp, I think. Um, so what I've done to get this to work, if you look at this side, look where I put my gauge on it, look. So gauge is on here, so you can see all the gauge lines. And if you come right close to here and show on this bit up here, look. I've just got a bit of batten that I've taped to that so it didn't fall off. So what we can do, we can get our um, we can get our corner block in there, move, moving up and down to get the line on to go that side. Uh, so we've got a Dutch pin up there, so that's nice and tight now to the wall. You can pull off there, no problem at all. So that's that one. So this one now, so we've got that one set up. This one, I mark my gauge on it, it's exactly the same. I have put a level between there and there. So that gauge is exactly the same as that gauge there. And what I did with this one, this is a medium, it is an internal clamp, and that one is a small internal clamp. You just screw these up together, like that. And then what I've done is I've sellotaped a 10 mil tile spacer we use for the porcelain onto there. And I've done exactly the same at the top, all out there. And I put a Dutch pin at the top. I can get that now, and you can pull a line off there. So, how would we get the line tight to the brickwork? Because there's a 10 mil gap. We, we can either use a fixed brick to use it as a tingle and just plug that straight on, easy peasy, or we can get and put the line on and put another 10 mil tile spacer inside of the line, which will pull the line over. So, that's another one. That's the second one set up. Clip. A brick pro profile clip on there now. 10 mil spacer on there, so my line's put back in now, 10 mil. And then this side, I just got the old, uh, the trusted and reliable, brilliant thing. that is a fixed brick clamp on there, and that's ready to rock and roll. So that's that one done. That's gonna work all the way up now. So yeah, happy days. Well, this profile in now, what we've done below ground, we've just dug this ground out. Um, and then we put a piece of batten in alongside this, hit that into the ground, wedge that so we can pull that way. So it's basically wedged into the ground on gauge. So this side, we just clamp that on there now. Let's clamp there. Yeah. Right, so just get your gear spirit level plumb on there now right Freight. that end's clamped draw a little line on there with your pencil and then you've got your hands back then so that's plumb there now right put that down and it'll 
what we need to do is get this. Slight coming over a little bit, so screw that, that's it, just tighten it up now. Yeah, that's it, that's done. Yeah, fine. So, we got that set up here now. We can pull a line off there. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna build this wall up to this height up to this height here and then when it returns back around there i'm gonna have to change the profile setup and get some more profiles set up in there so yeah more profiles to come yeah these fit bricks are so versatile in there i've laid that now because i took it into this and i can't put a pin joint in there um so i was thinking right do i build a little corner but i got the profile down there so i just want to put the line up so i've just laid the fit brick upside down so i lay from from that side come to here and then just slot the last brick in absolutely fantastic this little footing in here now i'm afraid to dug down this morning nice dry semi dry mix we can set that up and do a little turn the profile's still set up down there just build out three courses on there that'll set me up then for the blakes and then what i can do is double back onto this and finish this bit off because this is going to be a lower level so let's show you some brick now and what we found is all these bloody bricks a different size, aren't they? Yep. Some of them are like 10, 15 mil out, aren't they? Yeah. So what I've got is I've got one wandering perp, so I'm trying to get back onto bond on the perp, and then you lay a big brick or a small brick and you throw yourself off. So it kind of is what it is.
this is going to come out because it's so windy up here. There we are, look. That's the setup we got down there. And then this is the setup we got up here. We've got the Blake setup now. BT engineering profile setup in there. And then we got Richard Fitzgerald's Fitzbrick Dory block or whatever you want to call it on the corner here, which seems like a real good bit of British steel, good bit of quality stuff. Never used it before. Looks really good. So very impressed. So let's crack on with it before it starts to you know what. Right, you can see I'm I'm stood down here, and by the time I stand there, I'm up to about that height. The Fraser's over there, and he's way up in the air, and you. So what the customer wants us to do, the customer wants us to bring this across at kind of six foot, and then because the drive down here is is kind of like like this, like that. So you know the wall's that height, and then it goes thinner and thinner and thinner down the further you get up to this bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this across, and then we're going to step up come across, step up, come across, step up, and come across. So when we get to this bit here, um, got a chance of uh, obviously them sitting in their garden and not being able to look over to this side when I'm stood. Here's some bricks being laid overhand by the old fella. Who's this old fella today? Right? I think I'm putting the camera up. Yeah, you've got the ladies all the way, all the way down there, all overhand. Pain in the arse. Like I say, the perps are wandering because um, all the bricks are different sizes. So kind of is what it is.
got a new nickname for Jay as well, I'm afraid. The Jay came in with himself this morning. <laughs> Do you want to tell him what your new nickname is that your missus gave you, Jay? Jay the Beanhead. Beanhead. Hey. <laughs> I think he's quite proud of that as well, isn't he? Is that your own, isn't he? And what did you say, Free? You look like a can of beans because he got the same colour trousers on as a, a tin <laughs> of beans. I'm not Heinz, I'm the cheap mate from Tesco Value. Tesco Value. And he's also given himself the best mixer award, the best uh, muck Rick maker. Wright. Rick Wright, don't go any further, best mixer right here. Would you agree with that, Frey? I wouldn't agree, no. No. to walk on this Come on, Jay, I ain't really bloody combo with my oh, spot, man. People are watching me here on bloody YouTube. God, alive. You've got bean juice in your eye or something, have you? Oh, bean juice, tomato juice. That chicken over there is looking at me, and they know I'm scared of them, so they carry uh, on yeah. looking. He's also got chickens on the wall over there, little ornaments, that he's, uh, he won't go over there because he's fighting the death of them. I think he's a bit odd, isn't he, Frank, to be honest with you? Just a, just a little bit. Would you agree with that, Jay? Yeah. Just, a, just that. a little bit strange, you are, aren't you? Yeah. But then, you've got to be strange to work here, mate, with us. some confidence now and again, haven't you? <laughs> he sat down here now, stacking bricks and talking to himself, or talking to the bricks. He actually is. You're talking to the bricks, Jay? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you are, aren't you? Singing to him. What was you singing to him? Put it this way, if he was on a shelf as a bloody Tesco own, own bloody uh, bargain thing, he wouldn't sell him, would you? Nobody would pick him up off a bloody shelf, would they? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably can't on the spot this time. Oh. Going down 35 fathoms for my bricks out, Jay. Oh. Can't get the labour up in, Jess. If you didn't spend so much time talking to the bloody bricks, they'd be out there ready for me, wouldn't they?
sweating like a what? Dingbat. Sweating like a dingbat. <laughs> grass now in the bloody mix. different cut on the end every time depending how good I've done or bad I've done in terms of these bloody perps opening up and closing up because of the size of the sodden bricks which is all Jay's fault Angle your trowel to that 45 degrees when you're doing it. You won't stain the bricks, Andre. Yeah, perfect. Right, what we're doing now, look, is we're creating, this is the first step. And as you can see, we're out of profile. So there's no point in taking these off and moving them up and faffing about just for a, about, you know, another three courses, which is inclusive of all the steps. You've got the first, you've got this one here. And what I've done is I've laid the smallest brick from here to here lengthwise because the bricks are all different shapes and sizes. And because I've had to go off the brickwork that was below it, I think when we put the brick on edge on, you are going to get some lipping of bricks on the back here. I'll explain it to the client. So that, that's the first step there. And then the second one is going to be up here, up here somewhere. Another two courses. We'll take that through. Um, we'll keep those two profiles at the end. We'll take that through, see what the client thinks, and then we can get our um, brick on edge um, set up then. Be worried about gauge from here up to the end over there. We've been checking on the level. And, you know, we, uh, let's just show you. Bob on level. 
So what I would have used, if I'd had a laser level, I would have used a laser level, but I ain't got one yet. Watch this space. So there you are, he's level free. Something must have gone wrong there, mate. Yeah. It's to be level, isn't it? That haven't happened before, have it? Yeah. Oh, it's that bricklayer's curse again. It's pouring down with bloody rain yet again. Where is summer? If anybody knows where summer is, leave them in the comments below because it's just not happening in Wales. Anyway, we've given it 10 minutes. The forecast has changed. It looks crap. So uh, we're going home. There's nothing much we can do here. So that's it for the day. Wales in summertime. a day makes lovely sunshine in Wales for once but never far away from the black cloud anyway so I've still got the line set up on this profile here now look right so save me taking the profile off moving them up and faffing about you just have left that over there so what I got going on is step there look and then I got another one starting by here so all I'm doing is I'm just I know it's level because I've checked that I'm just checking put in the spirit level on there like that measuring from there down 75 mil and then what i'm doing is i'm just using this as like a bit of a tingle fits brick and just chucking that on there the profile set up down there and the uh, step set up and get the go we just run that in now fraser's giving fraser the job of running that returning internal and external and plumbing it all up so how's that going Frey? good yeah happy days yeah, man. there we are then he's doing a good job there so Brick on edge, come close free. This is how I prepare everyone's different. So, on there, like that. Turn your brick that way. That goes on there, so you get that. Then push down so that way, that way, and that way. So you get a full joint on it. Like I say, everyone's different, but that's the way I was taught to do it during the war. These bricks are all different bloody sizes. Just pushing the line out at the back, and some of the some of the heads on the brick are, are lopsided, so it's, it's like it's looking like it's overlapping the iris, but it's not. So I'm just going to take my time on it. So same again there. You're having to go and build in your wall. It's three bricks. So it's three, one, two, three, three brick and edge bricks to so one full brick, and then that's how you get your bond on a brick and edge. So that's what I've set up. Basically. And the sun's out freezing, isn't it? Yeah, for once. You got the lights on for us? Backline is a bloody nightmare. I know for a fact that these brown ones are smaller. Show. Yeah, that's one example. She's slightly uh, longer, and then it's a couple of mil thicker as well. A couple of mil in it thicker. So those ones are smaller. There's a few different sizes. These ones are the smallest ones. You actually feel it in your hand as well. It's, it's actually a smaller brick.
user. You've like recognized before, Fraser, haven't you? Um, yeah. How did you find it? Not a fan. No? No. It's just about the getting used to things, isn't it? Yeah. Trying to get a full joint on it. Where's the uh, DJ Tron Gug on now? That's Tron though. It's using the toilet. Any longer than five minutes, I'm tipping that tile over. <laughs> You'll have that blue stuff all over him then. Again. Drongo! DJ Drongo! Come on! There he's just sat in there for a <laughs> Sat in there. <laughs> Thinking, I can't be asked for this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to break, so the crap is out. There he is down there. You washed your hands now? You sure? Right, so we're gonna have to stop now because that uh, bloody labourer of ours has gone off on a wall again. See the holes in the bricks up there, look. So we got solid end bricks, they're in specials, they're being made, they're £12.50 each per brick. Right, job done. If you liked the video, if you could please subscribe to the channel, really, really appreciate it, and give us a like. On to the next bit of this project now, part two, which is a porcelain patio, which is out the front. See you next Sunday for that. Thank you very much. Cheers.